Hey YouTube, Campervan Kevin here. Well today, I'm headed to Napa, Idaho. But before I leave, wanted to show you my beautiful campsite right here, passing back through Bruneau. Really enjoyed my time here on the lake. Thought I'd come back for a night or two. This campsite was free. Right here on the water. Looky, looky, looky. You pull your boat. Where's Martini Tucker? She, she, she's at the side. She didn't want to come down the steps. That oh, little poor little thing. Baby May May made it. Martini, you want to come down to potty before we go? Daddy, you know I can't do the steps. It hurts my, it hurts my hips. I'm sorry. She's eight years old now. Her, her, her hips, her back legs bother her. That baby may may try so hard to be friends with her, but it just ain't happening. But uh, yeah, you can pull your boat right up here next to the water. I didn't let Tucker get in the water. He probably swam across the whole darn lake. I saw a little muskrat or tiny beaver or something here yesterday. I hear there is excellent, excellent fishing here. But I stayed at the cove over there a week or two ago. But I'm headed west. The dam, the, <clears throat> the dam is right over here. But uh, had a built-in campsite. Show you what my neighbors left. Well, the people prior to me, what they left for me. Isn't that, just, isn't that neat? You know, they had bags. They could have took it with them. They could have bagged it up and took it with them, but no, they just threw it in the fire pit. All right. Get off these levelers, we're gonna go. Are we going? Well, it has something to do with this uh, motorcycle rack right here. I was in Mountain Home yesterday, and a guy had a early 80s Honda XL250. It's a street trail motorcycle. And, uh, I don't even want to tell you why I was at Mountain Home. I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> Has to do with AC. But let's not go there. But anyway, he lived fairly close. He brought me by the bike. Here it is right here. It was red and black. Had 6,000 miles on it. I drove around the parking lot where I, was, where I was at. Just wasn't a bike for me. Uh... It was an okay condition. I really want a bike that's in excellent condition. I don't care the year, but I want a cherry. I want something really nice. So uh, I found something online this morning. Let's go look at it. See if it's going to be the bike to put on the back of Miss Gypsy. Okay, everybody get in the truck. Let's go. I'm going. Get in the truck. Let's go. Man, I don't want to go. Make up your mind. Going or not going. Get in, baby May Mays. Martini, come on. I want you to pick me up. I want a lot of things. You gonna get in? You gonna get in the truck? No, I'm gonna make you pick me up. <sighs> she must be hurting this morning. There you go. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, love. like we're gonna have a delay all right looks like we're here Hope they got a lot of parking oh yeah oh yeah lots of nice parking here
Turn the air conditioning on for the babies. There she sits, right there to the right of that four-wheeler. Canyon Honda. It's a 93 model. The guy told me it was in excellent shape. It's 1,800 miles, $2,300. I can get it for 21. Homemade rack on it. Dual sport tires. 1800 miles. Pretty good shape for. Uh oh. Pretty good shape. Truth of the matter is, I always wanted one of these. All right, go in and talk to the man. Well, they let me use one of their helmets. I said, well, if we got a helmet that big. <laughs> This bike is in really good shape. Much better than that red and black one I looked at yesterday. Nice and clean. A lot nicer than I had even hoped for. I just took it on a test drive. You can't tell it's not new. And it comes with an, uh, an extra rack and a gun scabbard for the front fork. Pretty darn nice. Um, if I'm not mistaken too, that back too, so he's got it geared a little bit on the full side. He's got another. I think I have a smaller sprocket in the back. So they give me more top end? Yeah. What are these right here? A shovel holder. You can even have a shovel if you want it. I'm going to be riding in some pretty remote places. Right. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. He said he just put it, he just listed it this morning. And he's already had three phone calls on it. I put a hold on it and got up here. It's the right place at the right time. I always say if you don't have good looks or money, at least have good timing. <laughs> I got good timing. Mate, I, I, I'm kind of pretty too. But So All right. here's the 2019 XL250 basically. Fuel injected, water cool, electric start. This will run you 5500 to get out the door. But that 93 will do anything that I ask it to do. So the original owner has some goodies to go with it. Yeah, this is the original sales brochure from when this thing was brand new. So he no kept, kidding. yeah, he's the original owner on this thing. He kept this whole time. These are pretty, probably pretty rare, probably hard to find. So there's that uh, extra sprocket we were talking about. So basically, got the stock sprocket on here. He switched out that tail light when he put that uh, that other rack on here. So that's the stock tail light on there. And there's a couple other things. This is actually just a. Uh, uh, it's actually an extra chain guide. Okay. Spark plug. So he's got it geared. He's got it geared pretty low for off road. Mm -hmm. He yeah. did. He hunted with it. Um, Something like that. He had a gun just, scabbard just, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He just kind of more scouted. I don't think he hunted too much. But yeah, he actually got a couple extra chain blocks in here, which is kind of nice. Sweet. Yeah. Bought it new. Mm -hmm. Now I got to get a helmet. Looking for a white HGC. That's black, but I'm gonna find a white one. Here's the scabbard and rack that he built for the back. I got a feeling I'll put that on. Shovel. HJC. And this helmet right here, it, uh, it's the modular kind. The whole front lifts up on it. I was hoping to get it in white. $229. Wish they had a white one. I'm wishing one hand and you know what in the other. See what gets full first. Once you ride with a modular helmet like this, it's really hard to go back. The only trouble makes it really hard to put a, a GoPro mount on it. What model number is this? It's the glasses off. I've had HJC helmets in the past. They've done really, really good for me. 
So you knew the you knew the owner that had my bike before. Mm -hmm. Older guy, you said. Older guy, meticulous about everything he owns. Cool. To the T. Straps, fork saver, chain wax, and a helmet. It's gonna put me about 250 out the door with that. I used to be real picky about my helmets. Not a scratch, not a bump. It makes your life completely miserable. So the best thing to do when you get a brand new helmet is do this. Now, we got a bump, got a scratch. Y'all don't have to worry about it no more. Now I can enjoy wearing it and using it. Look at this little mini trail 70 right here. I would have considered one of those. Surely would have, just to get around the campsite. And these were made from like mid 60s on up to 86, I believe. They started out with a 90, then they went to the 110. Be good for the back of a motorhome. It's like this rack's gonna be on my way. I moved the chair down under. But this is getting into my throttle control and everything. So, yep. Gotta cut this off. They let me use their grinder. Been working on this for about half an hour. Just about got it like I want. All right, well, I took a humongous bite out of my mini split platform. I'll worry about it when I get the mini split. Figure something out. I may have to just raise this whole rack up higher. If that's the case, I'll do it then. Okay, I can see my tail lights pretty good. Tag, eh, not so much. Got some more straps put on the back. Had to move the chair. I'll just have to rebuild this rack and move it up to the bottom of the window. It'll be all right. Well, after some cutting with a hacksaw and a grinder, uh, and a big old hammer <laughs> got the motorcycle to fit but like all videos this one's got to end so I'm in this video right here I appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we'll see you again soon you guys take care bye bye have a delay. Dad, get up. I want you to be careful. Careful of what, Tuck? I don't want you to get run over by no train. Oh, Tucker, I, I won't get run over by no train. I'll be careful. I'll sit right here. I, I heard people get run over by trains a lot. I never have understood that, Tuck. Seems like to me people could just kind of step out of the way. But what do I know? <laughs>